Hello everybody, um, this is a video to show you how to use AirParrot to mirror your display to your iMac onto your HDTV. Basically everything that you see on your iMac goes to your HDTV. Um, what you need is a Apple TV. It's going to do this wirelessly and you need to download the program AirParrot which you see right here. That's their website. The program is app, whatever you want to call it, is I believe it's $9.99 for one license. If you want it to get multiple licenses, you can. I think you can get five for $29 something. Um, in other words, five different computers for $29, bucks, which basically $30, bucks, which is not a bad deal. I just got mine going here and I wanted to show you. I have another video on how to um, make your MacBook Pro show up on your HDTV with a um, Belkin Mini Display Port Adapter. Well, this is a way to do it without all the wires. You can do it wirelessly. It's just, you know, a lot, a lot better. Okay, the first thing you do. See, here's I, I've moved my computer here to be right by my HDTV, which it's going crazy right now because it's echo in the video basically but anyway we'll show you that in just a minute uh, okay first of all let's click on the Apple TV which I'm sure if you have an Apple TV you know how to turn it on okay as you can see I have the Apple TV going on the 55 inch LCD flat screen it's a Vizio Okay, now I'm going to move the camera so I can um, show y'all just a second here. I'm making a couple of settings where I can see this on my TV. Um, what you want to do, you've got your Apple TV on. You want to Click on your Air Parrot program, which I have it on my desktop right there. When you click on it, you're going to notice it throws the little Air Parrot icon right there. Well, that's where you're going to go to activate the program. What you do is you go up here, click on it, and see Display 1? That's what I have it set on for the better resolution. Remember, you have to click right here on Apple TV in order for it to show up on your big screen TV. Once, once that's checked, it will show up on your HD TV, TV like it's supposed to. Then you've got disable audio. The older Air Parrot doesn't transfer audio. The new version does. So anyway, you want to go down to preference, preferences and see where it says under scan. Make sure you can see that. Okay, see where it says under scan? You want that to go to zero. That way, when you mirror this image here on your iMac, it's going to be full screen on your HDTV. If you have it, say, right there, well, then whatever you're viewing on your iMac, it's not going to be full screen on your TV. So you want that to go to zero. I've got video quality set all the way to high. Of course, you always want the best video. It may be laggy that way for you. It's just according to what kind of setup you have. But um, anyway, I've got mine set to very high video quality. And you can get better frame rates with this little dial here, which same thing may cause lag the higher you move it. I've just got mine set at 30. But anyway, to enable it, what I'm going to do is let me... Let me um, get over here and put the TV back on the right setting. Okay, I'm going to click right here where it says Apple TV. I'm going to click on that. Before I do, I'm going to put this on the TV so you can see the Apple TV. Sorry, this isn't the best setup, but that's what happens when... 
let me see if I can get the camera a little further back here. So you can see the whole TV. Anyway, there's the TV. Okay, I'm going to click on the little Apple TV logo that I just showed you a second ago. And there you can see what's on my iMac is displayed on my HD TV. See, there's the iMac. Right there. And there's the HD TV. Now I'm going to go over here and click on one of my videos on YouTube. And just to show you, first let me show you this. If I were to get the preferences back up there for Air Parrot, as you can see, and I were to move this under scan, like right there, see how your image on your flat screen is not full screen? I'll move it down even further. Let's see, preferences. And let's move it way up there. See how you have a little image. It's not filling up your HDTV. That's why you want to set the preferences under scan to zero so everything can be full screen because we all know that's the way you want to view things. Anyway, let's go to YouTube. I'm going to check out one of my older videos where I was showing you how to uh, make your MacBook Pro work this same way except with an HDMI cable. I actually think with the HDMI cable and the USB mini port adapter I don't know why I said USB, but anyway, the Belkin Mini Disc Port adapter, HDMI adapter, was clearer in my opinion than this is. But you know, this is uh, wirelessly, so it's not probably not going to be as clear. But as you can see, there's my video there that shows you how to um, basically do it with the HDMI cable. And sound is being transferred. Here, let me show you. As you can see, there's the video full screen from YouTube. So everything, everything's full screen. There's a mini display port adapter if you'd rather do it with wires instead of wirelessly. The way I'm showing you now is with your Apple TV. And Air Parrot, which you can get off the internet for $9.99. Um, as you can see, if I were to click on an app like Angry Birds, that's full screen. I'm going to turn the volume down. But as you can see, you can play everything full screen. It's not as clear as on the iMac. I don't know if you'll be able to tell with this video but of course you know the IMAX have these great looking displays and all that so anyway that is how easy it is I'm gonna show you again over here let me get the camera a little closer on the iMac okay, I'm going to make another adjustment here where I can see what I'm doing on the big screen um, okay, let's get out of this. Okay. Remember, this is how easy it is. You download Air Parrot. Have your Apple TV hooked up. Once you load Air Parrot, it's going to appear right up here. That's where you click. You click on your Apple TV, so it will start showing on your big screen TV. I'd leave it at Display 1 for the better resolution. You can stop the audio if you don't want it transferred, you know, wirelessly, which I'm sure you probably do, unless somebody's sleeping and you don't want the video coming through. I mean, the audio coming through. And preferences, remember to put under scan. All the way to zero if you want it full screen on your HD TV. Video quality, that's up to you whether you want it high, low, but 
very high is the best video of course and that's pretty much it your frame rate you know the higher the frame rate probably the more lag you may see in your display but uh it's it's pretty easy this is a lot easier for the hooking up the hdmi mini port adapter display port adapter this will be easier for more, most people i'm sure i'm gonna make a separate video on how to do it with my macbook pro even though it's the same exact way i just didn't want to make this video too long i hope this helps y'all i appreciate you watching if you have any questions just leave it in the comments below and i'll do my best to answer it and this is operating on line sorry about that on line the latest lines what i have on this imac the same thing on my macbook pro and anyway i appreciate you watching and please like if you like and subscribe